This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and I am watching the streets of Hong Kong. This is a report looking at consensus behavior and assumptions of analysts. We start off with consensus recommendations, and what do we find here? My goodness. What we can see is analysts are now neutral on Hong Kong after four years of rating the country a buy in Asia. And that's quite a fall, and it's almost to a sell. And that's relative to other countries in Asia. Now, companies with the most positive recommendations, here we can see uh, one of them, China Lesso manufactures plastic pipes for a vast range of purposes. Recommendations are still strong after a 30% share price increase in the past six months. How about companies with the most negative recommendations? Well, one company, China Huishan Dairy's chairman and majority shareholder, Yang Hai, borrowed money to buy back shares in 2015, which caused the share price to double in less than three months. Hey, insider buying. So if an insider is buying, share price should go up. Well, since then, it's had poor performance. Let's take a look at earnings estimates and what consensus is saying. We can see that very, basically never do actual earnings come in above consensus forecasts. And 2015, analysts were expecting 1% and it came in actually minus about 12. But what we can see right now is that the analysts are expecting about 6% forward return for one year. So you can probably expect that earnings growth is going to be less than 6%. Now, the highest consensus EPS growth estimates the companies with the highest consensus. Well, one of them is Lenovo Group, which has earnings are expected to rebound from the loss in 2016 as PC and smartphone shipments have started to pick up. And companies that have the lowest consensus EPS growth estimates, well, there's a list of five there, but despite expectations about lower revenue and earnings for Shuanggan Fushan, the share price is up by about 80% year to date. Please forgive me of my pronunciations. So finally, let's look at consensus target price. And we can see again that analysts expect, they have a lot of optimism in their expectation. The red bar is their estimated upside. And that's basically been as low as 13% and as high as 21, which it is right now. So expectations are high. And to a large extent, it can be explained by the Hang Seng Index performing poorly. The highest consensus target price expected return companies, well, all stocks with the highest target price expected return have fallen 40% or more year to date, except for Joy City Property, which has only fallen by 10% year to date. Now, the companies with the lowest consensus target price expected return, well, again, China Huishan Dairy is also the company with the most target price downside due to its price jump. Want more of our research? Well, sign up for our newsletter at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join and I'll see you there.